Hello there. Uh, this is the Grandpa World. I'm sitting out here on Forest Lake, as you can see. And I'm doing something that is very pleasurable to me. It's called fishing. But one of the things about fishing that I have really come to understand is that you've really got to have patience. And the scripture says, have patience have its perfect work. Now, if it's going to have its perfect work, that means you've got to be patient. And it's just like fishing. You've got to be patient. You keep trying, you keep casting out there, and you keep hoping that something's going to bite. Well, you know, that's like patience in, 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 uh, in the realm with the Lord. You know, we have to just continue doing what we're doing. And we have to trust God. We have to trust Him with all of our heart. We lean not on our own understanding, but in all of our ways we acknowledge Him. And He does direct our paths. Guaranteed, He'll direct our paths. That's what the Word of God says. If the Word of God says it, then by gosh, I believe it. And that settles it. So in, in your life, you know, you... Uh, have a lot of things that you may have to have patience for. Well, let patience have its perfect work because it's not just the situation that's going on in your life, but God is trying to use that situation to bring uh, peace and joy into your heart. Now, peace and joy seems to be elusive sometimes when you're just really trying to be patient because stuff is happening in your life, but guaranteed, guaranteed, God will have his way in your life if you'll just lend yourself to him. I let patience have its perfect work. And you know something? Even with fishing, when I'm patient, sooner or later, I'm going to catch one. God bless you. Hope you have a fine day.